Hello everyone, hope you are doing fine. Uh, I am Sina Mirshahi and in this week we are going to talk about LaTeX or some people might pronounce it LaTeX or some people even might read it as you see here LaTeX. All of them are fine. I will go with LaTeX but it's not the matter of importance now. Uh, in this week, I try to change the perspective in some way of teaching this course, which I'm going to record my screen, as you obviously now see, uh, so you can have easier understanding of how actually you can work with the stuff, you can see the windows, you can see the codes, and you can see what I'm doing so it's like basically you're we are in the same place and you will see it I try to make it offline as you see now because uh, I thought in this way you can easily come back on the parts which you didn't understand and fast forward the time that pl the uh, topics you want to go faster and, and basically based on your own will you can repeat what you want uh, at first I'm going to talk about what is the LaTeX what is the difference of LaTeX but, uh, with other softwares why we are going to talk about it and then I will show you some examples I will show you the program for LaTeX, I will show you different versions. So at first we will go through the concepts and then after all uh, we will go with the actual codes of LaTeX, like details of the LaTeX. You might not now understand it, but I just wanted to shape this path in your mind that from the general topic of what it is basically we are we will narrow it down to the practical work we will see the uh, differences and so on so uh, LaTeX you know before uh, uh, before I I should talk about late be before talking about LaTeX I'm going to talk about tech itself. You know, uh, LaTeX is some extension of tech. Okay, what is tech? Basically, you might be wondering what, what are we are talking about. Uh, all of you, definitely I'm sure 100% of you, uh, have seen Microsoft Office, right? Uh, well, Microsoft Office is a general software for creating documents, like creating articles, creating letters, creating uh, card postal, and whatsoever. Okay, so it's a general purpose software that you can make any type of uh, articles and writing contents. But uh, sometimes we want a software, we want a method that is specifically designed for our, our goal and our aim. You know, we are as people in academic area, we might need a software which is designed for writing scientific articles, writing equations, writing uh, charts, which which is difficult to make in other softwares you will see you will see later what i'm going to talk about and you will see the differences so basically tech uh, was introduced by donald knutz in 1978 it's a type setting system it means the aim of actually the aim of this software the aim of this engine is to uh, to create uh, 
visual files like PDFs, like like right like like the thing you're seeing here, you know. So our aim is to present some text in the form of article, in the form of uh, presentation or whatsoever. So the the output is something similar to what you basically make in Microsoft Office. But uh, what is specific about tech? Tech uh, makes you and gives you this ability to exactly define words, equations, charts, and whatsoever with some uh, some sort of coding. So some of you might wondering basically what is tech, what is specific about it, or what I'm talking about. You, so maybe you don't have any uh, previous experience. That's why before everything I want to uh, show you what, I, what I'm talking about actually. You see here, this is a let's say document like a PDF, right? And uh, tech actually is some uh, mm, some series, some package of some instruction that you give it to an engine, and this engine, based on the instruction instructions you already gave it, will provide you and will make you a document, just like here. So this is. I'm just showing you now because I want you to know what I'm going to talk about. What, uh, what is like the outlook of it? So as you see, you you can see here some series of the some comments and some text, and here you see the output. So this is actually what are we are going to do. We are going to learn how to use series of comments to make such an output like PDF, articles, and whatsoever. So, that's uh, that was just a sample, just a overview, so you can see wha uh, what are we are talking about actually. So, now you can have a better understanding here. A text sor uh, source document specifies a number of macro definition that instruct the text engine how to typeset a document. So you saw here it's a series of comments and it, uh, it, is, it will be sent to an engine and this on the right side is the output that we are seeking for. So uh, and uh, the aim and uh, the aim of the text is to make to make a reliable system that uh, provides you the same output no matter which software you are using. I will explain my intention uh, later. Okay, you know, uh, all of you already saw Microsoft Office and you saw a document. Imagine there were many times for you that you create an article and then you for some reason you had to change your article. You had to change some part of your article. Imagine for example you you were adding uh, a, a picture into, art, into your article and suddenly everything was rearranged. Everything were misplaced. Everything were like mess. So uh, that's why, that's because Microsoft Office is uh, automatically generates uh, the place of the, of the elements in your documents. So you, you, you put, for example, an image somewhere, then you put some text behind, then you put some charts after, but when you put something inside, everything will be rearranged based on the new position of new element inside your documents. Okay, now something like text come in handy. What do I mean by that? Because in text you specify everything exactly as it should be. So, 
uh, that's why the the chance for your article your output to mess when something added to uh, rearrange when something added is less to be happen and it's very very faster for you to uh, generate documents with latex st style so uh, basically in the beginning we had only tech or text but working with text was a bit difficult for people because uh, the instruction of the text was was hard to understand for example now I'm going to show you uh, how is a simple hello word like simple sentence is in tech we can see here I think here you see all these lines all of them for example here uh, we, are, we are defining a text here you see times and size we are defining fonts here we are defining what we are going to print and position and uh, uh, like printing this in, in, into our screen and what so on I'm not going to talk about exactly what are they doing I just want to show you see it's just going to show you a hello world and it is difficult to handle okay now latex can appear you know uh, basically when at, at in the beginning when people were working with text they they found it difficult to work with as you see in my uh, example as like many texts needed just to be show one sentence so uh, some uh, some guy some scientist called Leslie Lamport they uh, they try to make this text simpler so basically latex is simplified text so they gathered many operation into the form of something called function you by now probably you already are familiar with functions in programming that you pack some series of code in one function and this function will do all the tasks for you so here we don't have actually functions but we have a similar thing called here macro but thing is it just like functions so they gathered all the like uh, all, all the tasks all the routine tasks that people might daily use like printing something like drawing something and make it as a package so you only use that package and everything will be do automatically for you so that's why we are saying that latex is a macro package which enables others to typeset and print their work at the highest typographical quality so technically latex is text with many predefined macros enabled uh, why we are going to use latex uh, as, as I already mentioned like general word processors like Microsoft Word, WordPad, OpenOffice, LibreOffice they are for general purposes so uh, that's why if you want to write the equation sometimes in Microsoft Office you always it, it's for you you might wondering okay how should I put this Sigma sign I know I know it has some uh, equations especially in the new designs new versions but uh, putting this complicated uh, scientific forms is difficult in word spe specifically when when your uh, when your formula are becoming more complex and more complex so uh, that's why for scientists for academic people they uh, try to shift to using latex space basically uh, actually yeah the original thing is text but technically no one is using it everyone is following latex as it is really more time consuming because everything 
is predefined for you and you don't have to put many lines of codes for a simple thing so uh, our aim once again our aim is to uh, make a, oh, some printable output like an article like a book like a presentation or something but mainly articles uh, in a scientific form and uh, so basically uh, no one is using only tech because it's really time consuming and for a simple output you need to put a lot of time and effort so everyone use the uh, text with many macros enabled or let's say simplified tech which is latex uh, in the next slide I want to like demonstrate what's the difference between using latex and uh, using softwares like Microsoft Office so you know in in computer we have uh, some kind of uh, style with this name you're <laughs> you're seeing here you might wondering what's that actually it is uh, short form for what you see is what you get what do I mean by that you see uh, what you see is what you get a style is just like Microsoft Office it's just like for example you open uh, open a document and you start writing and then you start typing and you make something uh, bold you make some charts you you put some I don't know some image there and you shift it to the left or to right so actually you the output that you are getting is the exact thing that you are making right so it is this kind of a structure is called what you see is what you get but in latex we don't follow this style it's actually more like programming imagine in programming you put a code you write for example print uh, print open bracket and close bracket hello world and the output is the hello world the output is not uh, with the prints with the code style with the code itself that you already read in your that you already wrote in your code so the output that you get is different from what you already put what do I mean by that here you see uh, as you see the, the output is this and the input is this so the output is different from the input but in Microsoft for example office you insert an image here you shift an image to the left to the right so actually you are you are creating the output directly but in something like latex you create some instructions like these codes with your text and you give it to a text compiler and it generates for you the output so uh, so for, for softwares like Microsoft Office which follows this kind of style uh, user need to use the same tool for example everyone have to use let's say Microsoft Office okay but in, in, in something like latex you can write your code in any kind of editor you can put it in a notepad you can put it on online latex editor you can put it on open it with notepad plus plus in any type of uh, softwares that can edit any type of document okay so it's not software related so it's not like for example it might happen for you that you had a Microsoft file and you opened it in some other let's say office uh, softwares like open office or on a Mac and things were messy right because it's only fully supported usually in one softwares but in latex you can define your codes on any type of uh, text editors uh, so you know the other difference I don't go to the details much 
uh, I will give this file to you but for example in Microsoft Office you have to uh, you have to check the entire document you see for example you write something in Microsoft Office then you scroll you scroll and you see if if it is exactly what you wanted you for example something might uh, might might split to two pages which you don't want but in latex there are many predefined classes for example article style is already defined poster style is already defined and you just follow you just change what you need so you don't have to make everything from the scratch uh, actually before that there are some templates there are some classes which already defined in latex and you just import them in your document and you will change everything you want uh, the other thing is like for especially for articles uh, high quality layout is only can be achieved by professional users imagine you want to write a article which is like two columns with with many with many footnotes with many references it's really difficult to make a, such a thing in uh, Microsoft Office but um, such a thing is easier in a software which is exactly designed for such a thing uh, like latex and uh, uh, that's one of the key points huge contents imagine the latex as I already mentioned you can do it with like a very very simple text editor like a notepad you can what you can open millions of lines and easily computer can handle it because it's it's not heavy but something like Microsoft Office especially in the recent versions they are really uh, heavy and if your computer is not strong enough when you open a, a huge file like your thesis and it, it contains many charts many photos and many other stuff it might be crashed but with something like latex as as I already said because of um, the style of uh, command based you can you can use it in any type of editors even online versions which I will show you uh, and in uh, for example in scientific area which I already said it's the strength of the latex you might need to cite some stuff like for example I use this article I use that article uh, for something like Microsoft you need additional tools like EndNote or Mendeley to to refer to the, to to manage your citations but uh, there are some built-in predefined things in latex that you can usually handle this and of course one of the key other key results uh, other key aspects is compatibility you know in Microsoft the word for example uh, if you I don't know if you have experience of opening a Microsoft file in other uh, operating systems imagine just you download a Microsoft file and you want to open it to your mobile phone and you see it's not what you were watching on your laptop it's different because these uh, kind of softwares are you uh, are usually really dependent on the OS but something like latex it's really compatible because uh, it's actually only a text which all the software can handle but you you just compile it with an engine I will explain it later so these were the main uh, key differences between latex and softwares like Microsoft Office and OpenOffice which follows uh, what you see is what you get approach uh, you can say like latex is free is open source you can use it like with no charge but uh, Microsoft Office you have to purchase it or even for some free offices like open office or libre office they usually follow like limited features and uh, they, they are not as good as the paid versions but uh, latex is free and you simply can use it especially if you are going for for a scientific output like articles and uh, so on
but we will talk about the details later. Uh, one thing I want to mention about LaTeX is you might, for example, hear Microsoft Office, right? And everyone know what is Microsoft Office. Like you have to go download it from the Microsoft website or official stores. But when we are talking about LaTeX, actually it's an engine which every, like many other different text editors can send their input to this engine and get the outputs. It's, it's this, this cell which we were writing like, users can use any type of text editor based on their own will. So you can write your code, which is something like that, and then you send it to the tech engine and it generates you such an output. Here, which I will cover this later completely, it's an online one, but uh, you can download different type of uh, latex editors for your OS, uh, no matter if you are using Windows or Linux or whatsoever. Uh, that's why there is no just one software you can use for latex. You can try them and you can see which one is more suitable for you. But I will sh I'm going to show you a desktop uh, version which I'm going to use and uh, then I will switch to the web version which is called Overleaf and we will continue our work on this online one which is more convenient but let's see uh, a simple latex editor which I already installed you can install it as well uh, let me run it sorry so uh, Gumi is one of is my favorite uh, desktop latex editor. Uh, you you can simply run it in Windows. My operation system is a, a version of Linux, which I run it this way. But no matter which, what are you using? Uh, you can install this uh, Gumi. It's called Gumi, and where can you get it? Let's. See, it is a GitHub project. If you just Google download Gumi and you will follow this GitHub link, you can go and you will see such a thing as you see in my computer, but it's, it was only dark. Uh, and you simply can download and use it. So uh, it, it it is available for Windows, for Linux, and so on. Uh, for example, I think if I click here, see, you can see if you are using, for example, Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, whatsoever, or even if you are using Windows, you can go here and download it for the, your operating system. So uh, I'm going back and I'm going to show you uh, Gumi here. You see, this is like a uh, simple uh, LaTeX editor, but you can even use different version. I just recommend it as my preferred desktop one, but uh, my top preferences is LaTeX, uh, is Overleaf, which I will completely cover that. Okay, he, here, as, as you already see on the web version, on the left side, you see some codes which will be generated to such an output. If you put this in any type of latex editor, you will get the same output. So let's give it a try, you know. So let, let, I want to copy this. And then I will go to... Uh, overleaf and I will uh, create a blank project I will I will talk about overleaf I just want to show you uh, just uh, that that with any type of uh, if you put your code anywhere you will get the same output here I will put the output 
compile it you see here it is exactly what you were seeing here so that's a cool thing about uh, latex that no matter which software you're using with the same code you will always reach to the same output uh, and uh, it and it's and I'm using on Linux you can use it on Windows or no matter what uh, okay so let's 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 try and make a, like a hello world uh, document I can show you with a example for example here you see here it's it's hello world uh, it, it, it's it's simply you can only with with some uh, some codes you can hear for example I I wrote like document class article uh, I put a space here to make it more readable for you okay as you see um, you know the keyword in the latex is this uh, backslash as you see here every comment starts with backslash you put for example when you want to start a document depends on what you are going to use uh, you you define the type of your documents in this case doc uh, which in, in the class of my document is article I want to write an article and like document class and with the size of the font and its article then I begin my document and then here I end my document you see a slash begin document slash end document then what do I want to write for example uh, this is uh, this is latex learning and you see it appeared here or there, there, there are some automatic functions for you for example if I open curly bracket and then slash uh, today and you see here is written today but my mistake it should be backslash as I already said it turned it to a keyword you see here if I put it now the today is written in your documents so uh, it's just like a simple simple document how, how you can work and how you can change stuff on it uh, I will go with a like I will show you a more advanced one and then we will go uh, to overleave and we will start the actual work with uh, tech on overleave uh, let me open uh, so you already you already see when I put this keyword it's here document class article it means I'm going to write in article style then I'm using a package user package I will explain them later but they are just like in your in your programming you were importing some libraries right in in latex you import for example if you want to work with uh, graphical mm, objects like photos charts you will import a package related to it so for any type of uh, need depending on your article you import the related uh, package which gives you some ability to work with this element I will talk about importing it uh, when we were going to overleaf here for example the title I already said it's article right I put and I told you that the keyword here is uh, backslash so I put like title utebe and here is utebe if I change it to utebe class it automatically changed the title here you see and the, an article has an author right here author is like my name I put it in automatically you see it follows an article style like in 
you, you shouldn't have to think about it how how can I make an article style or how can I make a poster style it's already defined the structure in the uh, latex uh, I, I just want to show you an overview uh, like the talking about this will be later uh, in the over overleaf section but here you can just see for example here I define an inter you want to write the introduction at first for your uh, article or let's say abstract you just define a section because it's a section of your article and I put it introduction these text BF make it like bold it's like when you in Microsoft Office you highlight your uh, text and you make it bold and then here I wrote something just just example and the other section for example conclusion for example I can change it instead of conclusion let's say uh, results and you see here is results and it automatically number the uh, sections as you see at the beginning I completely understand you might think that uh, working with latex might be difficult but if we are uh, if we are seeing the learning curve like uh, assume a curve that at the beginning it's really difficult for you to uh, learn this uh, how to work with uh, latex but after after a while when you get used to it you simply you simply can just just follow the instructions here and you just put what you want you you just import the structure you want and you change only the sections you need so you don't have to be worried about how to change the stuff how to put the stuff should I how to number the stuff how to cite the stuff and so on so as you see here is like a section I can I put an enter here for the sake of more readability and the other section is like just just as an example like future work and you end the document where you started here so it's just like programming that you put a curly bracket like you like your imagine it I think you're now working with C uh, C sharp programming like uh, your main function or your namespace you opened it and here you close it so it's really uh, structural for you and you can uh, simply follow the uh, structure and I want to now talk about uh, I couldn't talk about it at the beginning because you didn't have a perspective of uh, latex but now I can talk about it imagine you are writing an article or something and you will send it to your supervisor you were sending to it to some conference you were sending it somewhere and they say well, we don't follow this this kind of uh, structure you have to for example make the fonts like that make the numbering like that make 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 things according to their will in Microsoft Office you you have to for example you have to change the font here and when you change the font here you, you go at the end at the bottom and you see every other thing every numbering now changed and it's mess and you have to like read it once again and change it for every journal every uh, standard you want to follow you have to uh, read it again and again and change things again but in uh, latex since everything is with command you just change the command for example you just uh, change the font size you just here for example and everything will be followed like this uh, so uh, when uh, one of the good thing about latex is you can simply you can simply change the uh, structure of your uh, article with just putting some commands you can make it for example two column you can make it with different num numbering with different style of citation and so on and other thing is uh, it might happen for you that you are uh, you 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 type something in Microsoft Office and you print it, and then you understood. Oh, oh my God! I made a like mistake here. I made something here. because, uh, like psychologically, when you're opening some software with many buttons, many stuff, you're you're not focused, right? 
but uh, and, and 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 your and when when you put it and you print it on a simple paper sometimes you understand oh how could i not see that you know but here because it's not like just with many fancy buttons and stuff you only focus on text so uh, it's just out of experience that uh, chance of making mistake in the actual content is less likely to be happened here so that's one of the like psychological let's say aspect of the latex and uh, that was just a, uh, just a, uh, I just wanted to show some structure and overview of a, a latex file and after that we will go to uh, overleaf which I showed between my uh, presentation and then uh, we will follow some simple instruction how to make stuff uh, on overleaf I will go how to create an account and then how to create a project and then uh, creating the uh, content itself you can use whatever you are compatible uh, you are comfortable with like like for example here it's like gumi as I said but uh, this Overleaf is a cloud-based latex generator for you. It is like it has many predefined uh, templates. Like even you don't have to write these, 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 these. You only load a template. For example, I want article style. I want poster style, and it already generate everything for you. And you just change the content. So it makes your life really easier. That's why this is my preferred one and I will talk about it uh, uh, later after uh, so we are now done with this section and we will go on the overleaf